Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about quantity of heat. So what we're doing here is we have two objects, one made out of copper. Oh, this one is made out of aluminum. I'm sorry, aluminum. And this one is here made out of copper. And we're transferring a thousand calories of heat from the left side to the right side. This one starts at 100 degrees Celsius. This one starts at zero degrees Celsius. And the question is, what will be the final temperature of the two objects after that heat is transferred? So how do you go about doing that? Well, we're going to need the following equation. We're going to need the equation that the amount of heat transferred is equal to the mass of the object times the specific heat times the change of its temperature. So what we're trying to do here is find the change in the temperature of the two objects. So starting with aluminum, the one on the left, the change in temperature will be equal to the amount of heat transferred divided by the mass of the object times the specific heat. At that point, you just plug in the numbers and you get the final result. Of course, we need to do the same for the one on the right. So we can say that the change in temperature is going to be equal to the amount of heat transferred, which is of course the same. Whatever heat we take out of the left side is added to the right side, divided by its mass times its specific heat. So this is specific heat of aluminum, this specific heat of copper. All right, once you have the change in temperature, then you say that for the aluminum, T final must be equal to T initial, which is 100 degrees Celsius, minus the change in the temperature, because you're moving away heat, you're taking heat away, and so the temperature will drop. For the copper, you can say that the final temperature is equal to the initial temperature that you start with, which in this case is 0 degrees Celsius, plus the change of its temperature. Now this is the change in temperature for the aluminum, which is found using this equation, and this is the change in temperature of the copper, which is using this equation. Now all we have to do is plug in the numbers and get the results. So here it is. Hopefully you worked through the problem and you got the very same results. And if you don't like to use calories and grams, you'd rather use the metric units, joules and kilograms, Try it again, but then use this for the specific heat of the two substances, for copper and for aluminum here, and then convert this to kilograms instead of grams, and you should get the very same result.